Okay guys, this is part four. Alright, what I'm going to show you, of course I do not believe that it is coincidence, but when you see how it all ties together, then hopefully you'll understand. Understand that the message I think the Lord is trying to give us. So as I showed in the last video, um, this 118118 is in the UK. It is a information directory assistance number to call and it replaced this number 192 that you used to call until August 24th of um, I don't know if it was 2003 but in years past okay whenever it started I don't that's irrelevant right now so of course I decided to look into this number <laughs> and um, this is what I found so July 2nd is the 192nd day of the year so there's 192 and you say well what's what's important about July 11th did I say 2nd July 11th so on the Gregorian July is the seventh month so that's 711 and we know that 711 can be 911 this whole 811 thing um, it, it's pointing to the next 911 and we know that 7-Eleven can mean 9-Eleven because 7 is in on the Julian calendar. September is the seventh month. The prefix sept means seven. So on the Gregorian, July is the seventh month. And on the Julian, September is the seventh month. So 7-Eleven is 9-Eleven. That's been covered before in, in other people's videos. So I just thought that that was interesting because... Um, 192.2711, and in the Ghostbusters movie, there's this. So, for those who haven't seen the movie, Chris Helmsworth is in the movie, and he plays this really dumb guy. Um, and he goes to work for the three women, and he's showing them some logos for their, uh, for their organization, who at that, this time, when he's showing them the logos, they had not accepted the name Ghostbusters. They were calling themselves something else. And so he shows them this logo and they're like, no, um, that's already taken. That's 7-Eleven. You know, we can't use that. So this is not in there. It, you all should know by now that they don't put things in movies um, for no reason. It's in there for a reason because it's conveying a message. So there's that. And there's this. They are in this basement of this place where this heavy metal concert is going on. Totally demonic. And this poster is on the wall behind them and it says Jacobs, April 30th. Um, so I immediately think of either Jacobs Trouble or the country that is named after what Jacobs name was changed to and then I looked at this date so I went to timeanddate.com I put in this date that was on the poster in the movie and this is what I was led to put in of course so I uh, just say I didn't calculate it yet And, um, it's not adding April 30th, which is okay, because the date that it gives is August 26th. This date is in the movie. Um, they are, they figure out that the places where these devices are being set up that are opening portals to the underworld are on ley lines. And for those of you who don't know what ley lines are, they are energy grid lines upon the earth um, where energy can be transferred. The pyramids, uh, uh, all over the earth, any kind of major structure, especially put there by the prince of this world, is on a ley line because there's energy there. So they figure out, and the, I believe it was the first place they were figuring out where these ley lines were, and they were naming off streets. And I believe it was the first one they mentioned was 6th and 26th, and they said it over 
they said it like two or three times. Six and twenty-six, six and twenty-six. So I'm like, okay, six twenty-six, August being the sixth month on the Julian calendar, so August twenty-six. I mean, are you kidding me? And then, as you see here in, their, in the calculation that time and date did, they did not include the 30th. If you include the 30th, because see there's zero days here, if you include this day, then you get August 27th, which is the date that Aaron from Exalted Lamb 1 is pointing to. So, this stuff, guys, I, there, there's a message here, and I, I believe we need to heed it. So, of course, I had to look up this number from the one that they switched from to the 118118 in the Strong's. In the Greek, it means want of power. The inability to maintain control. <laughs> Taking dominion uh, without prevailing. And then um, in the Hebrew, it's uh, the man of Merodach, which is the son and successor of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, which would be a type and shadow of the AC. So, do you see how... I, I hate to cover this kind of stuff, but um, we are not to be ignorant of the devices of our enemy. So this is why I share this stuff. I would rather just focus on Yah's word, but we are in a time right now where he needs us to be aware of what's happening in the spiritual realm which is manifesting into the physical which is not, not not the good stuff we need to be aware of it so we are not hard so so this is from a site that talks about ley lines I'm not going to include it because it's um it, it, there's pagan uh, new age beliefs but I did want to point this out because this is actual you know this is um actual fact of something that occurred in September 28, 2015 when this person was here. Gave a speech at the Capitol, then came to New York where he went from Times Square, which is where all this stuff in, in the Ghostbusters movie takes place, up to Cleopatra's Needle in Central Park and ended his trip at the Liberty Bell in Pennsylvania. These are all on lay lines. Or lay lines. So, do you see um, the connection here to Liberty in Pennsylvania? The message is being conveyed that they will be receiving their liberty to do what they want at a certain time. So, I just want to show you some stuff about this. This is a movie that I that I watched. <laughs> um, and here is some... I'm going to just show you a couple things. The running time. Seriously? I mean, really? And then this was their budget. See, these they, they know that these numbers hold significant power, and that's why they use them. Um, distributed by them, and of course they, you know, their uh, iconography for their logo is... Uh, the goddess holding the torch up, and you know who that is. Um, let me just show you. The ghosts are being summoned by devices built by this person. <laughs> the name here, I just noticed something. Turn that W upside down and notice how it, the, the typeface of it is different. That's for a reason. See how the R, the O, the A, and the N are bold and the W is not? Turn the W upside down and it becomes an M. Roman North. Where does the enemy come from during the tribulation? From the North. <laughs> uh, he's an occultist attempting to bring about the apocalypse. And um, planting his devices along ley lines, which intersect at this hotel. And <laughs> for, for y'all who have watched my previous videos regarding Santiago and everything that I was led to regarding that. Um, the the whole Independence Day tie uh, begins on July 2nd because July 2nd was actually the day that they um, 
decided amongst themselves would be Independence Day, but they didn't declare it until the 4th. So, in the movie Independence Day, the original, the first one, the movie begins on July 2nd and ends on July 4th. Um, July 2nd of this year was the total solar eclipse over Easter Island, which also encompassed Santiago, Chile. Uh, there is a series that was only for two seasons that talks about an asteroid coming called Salvation. The main character who plays an Elon Musk figure, that's basically who his character is. And uh, His real name is Santiago. Uh, I forget his last name. I won a gift card to a restaurant here locally where I live called Santiago Bordega, which means, Santiago means St. James. James is the English version of Jacob, which is what uh, his name was changed to Israel. Um, Bordega means storehouse, wine house. So, um, but when I looked up Mercado, and, well, I'll just show you. Uh, Mercado in Spanish means uh, market. So, Mercado Central de Santiago, Central Market of Santiago de Chile. So, I mean, it just, it just goes on and on. So, that's why I, I must share this. In the Ghostbusters movie, this hotel called Mercado is, um, that's where the vortex gets opened, and it's at uh, Times Square. I mean, just look at the title of this, this uh, WordPress article regarding the, this. I mean, oh, they're conveying a message here. Um, so I'm going to show you the ties to Rocky and the movie that I rented, not, not the Ghostbusters movie, but a different one. Um, and remember, for those of you who watched my last series, I showed this image, and uh, Brother Keith from Mini Fish covered this as well, because a, a plane flew over his house pulling this banner. This is the number you call before you dig anywhere, so that you don't hit power lines or what you know, water pipes or whatever. But it's just interesting what the caption says. Know what's below. Below as in the underworld? Call. Who are you going to call? <laughs> Before you do. I mean, it, it just... It, it, it just blows my mind. So, um, regarding the whole 7-11, 9-11 thing, I uh, wanted to show you this. So, on the day of the attacks. The number, this is either 7, 11, or 9, 11, and then the year adds up to 3. So, on that day, the Hebrew calendar, it was a little 23. It was 6, 23, 3. I and mean, if you flip the 6 up by, upside down, you get 9, 23 which is um, what I covered as far as yesterday's date, because on Torah calendar... Okay, okay, I just saw something. Um, the 623 that I just showed you, which is was in 2001, on the Jewish calendar was Elul 23. Elul 23 on, on Torah, not on the normal Jewish calendar, but on Torah calendar is tomorrow, the 25th of August. Sunday the 25th is Elul 23, 623. The movie Ghostbusters portrays this number. Let me show you. So this is from the movie. And of course, they, like I said, they don't show things without... There's a reason. So in this scene, the door behind them has this number on it. They also reference October 25th, 1864 in the movie just so you all are aware. And it's interesting because when I looked up that Mercado in Santiago, Chile, it was... <laughs> for the market replaced the Plaza del Abasto, 
which was destroyed by fire in 1864. So this new building replaced... I mean, of all the years, and this year was mentioned in the movie, the, the Ghostbusters movie from 2016. Which, by the way, you turn the six upside down, it's 2019. See here, the 2003, this one, one eight. Um, directory assistance campaign did a Rocky campaign where they um, had the two guys with a bunch of kids with the, the same shirts on running behind them and running up the steps of the Philadelphia Museum of Art in Philadelphia. In the movie Rocky, he runs up these 72 steps and then holds his arms up as in, you know, victory. Um, the movie that I rented the other day was Shazam. I just want, that's when I was under attack. I wanted to just zone out and watch something. Um, I know all about the, the portrayal of superheroes and what it really means to them, but as we know from watching these movies that the, the superheroes are always fighting the bad guys. So that's how I was looking at it. And in that movie, um, demonic entities, specifically the seven deadly sins, the, the demons associated with the seven deadly sins are released upon the earth and they're wreaking havoc in the Shazam movie. In the Shazam movie, they also ran up these steps because the movie itself takes place in Philadelphia. So they run up the steps of uh, the Museum of Art, which is what Rocky did. So do you see? <laughs> and then look at this, these buildings. These are, of course, uh, modeled after the architecture is modeled after Greek temples. There's a, the eight columns. Um, and I, in my research, the main temple that has the eight columns al along the face, usually when they built them, they had eight columns you know, whatever many columns they had on the face, um, they either usually had the same amount or more along the side. But because this is a museum, of course, they had to enclose it. It's not an actual temple, but designed after a temple. And the closest one that comes to the Philadelphia Museum of Art architecture with the eight columns is the Parthenon. And um, this is actually a replica as you can see, it's in perfect condition. That is in Nashville. No, sorry, Memphis, Tennessee. Is it Nashville? I think it's Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee. Yes, it's in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, and, you know, these Nashville, I mean, Memphis, they're all, I don't, I'm not sure about Nashville, but I know that Memphis is an Egyptian name of a place in Egypt. And the this actually this uh replica of the parthenon that's in Nash nashville it's a full scale full size replica and and it's massive because you know the, the person would their height would be like right here inside this temple you're not going to believe well that's what it is it's a temple um guess what's inside the temple um this is a statue of this goddess inside that temple in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, you see this man standing here. He is the sculptor of this uh, sculpture. Uh, this is Athena. She's holding the goddess Nike in her hand. And let me just enlarge this so you can see um, <laughs> what is there with her shield. So... Hang on. Yeah, this giant serpent. So, um, we, you ought to know by now who this statue represents. On the Philadelphia Museum of Art, on the pediment is something interesting also. So, this is the actual pediment on top of the Philadelphia Museum of Art. And let me zoom in so you can see. So, they have this figure here, who we know is not Jesus. Um, they always hold this 
I, which I presume would be a scrying ball. I'm not sure. Um, with the, the scepter and the, you know, like the Statue of Liberty. And here's the mother and son, as in stuff I've covered in previous videos regarding mother, uh, the mother and son worship of, um, it, it's in Egyptian culture and other pagan cultures and the Mary and Jesus is not actually Mary and Jesus. It's the queen of heaven and sorry, hang on. There's the owl here. Um, there's a griffin. There's supposedly griffins. Uh, they're also on the building. You know, Do you see what I'm trying to say, guys? It's all in our face. It's been in our face the whole time. Oh, and then there's this. Um, he's fighting this demonic-looking figure, which, if you can see, I can't zoom in anymore right at this moment, but he is half demon man, and his bottom half is like a goat. You can see the his legs here with the hoof. And then, of course, there's this behind him. So, um, there's, there's more. So the Parthenon is, um, this is the Parthenon, and it's built on top of the Acropolis in Athens, Greece. And, um, I just, there's things in my calendar that came up in the Strong's numbers that point to this. And guess what happens to be the day that it lands on? So on September, and, and I found these strong definitions regarding these, the numbers that regard the days before I found the stuff about the Parthenon and because I just found that last night. So, um, so September 11th is 117 or 711 backwards. And in the Strong's Greek, it means Athenian which is someone who is from Athens. Also, on that day on the Jewish calendar, it's Elul 11. It, it will, it'll be 7-11 on Torah because there, for the month of September, the days on the Torah calendar actually line up with the Gregorian. So when it's September 11th, it's Tishri 11, which is the seventh month. Seventh month, sept meaning seven, originally Julian, 7-11, 7-11. But because the Jewish calendar is a month behind, it's 611, which, as I just showed you, it's all connected. And guess what? In the Greek, G116, which is 611 backwards, means Athens, plural of Athena, goddess of wisdom. That's who I just showed you is in that temple. So, it just goes on and on, guys. There's some other things um, regarding I, that I want to share, but uh, I'll do that in the next video and, and possibly wrap it up in the next video. So, I will see you guys in part five. Alright, shalom.